Today I have the Alienware AW2725Q, that awesome 4K 27 inch QD OLED gaming monitor, versus the LG 27GX790A, which is a Quad HD 27 inch W OLED monitor. Today we're going to be tackling an SDR test to see if there's any brightness differences or that dreaded ABL with Street Fighter Alpha 3. I'll be pointing out through highlights what we're seeing on screen to see if the peak highs make any difference. We'll also be taking a look at HDR. Both monitors are set with a true black 400, but they are different. Let's see if you can spot the differences, especially with Doom Eternal. Peak 1000 versus true black 400 versus LG's Visa Display HDR. SDR versus HDR with these two monitors to help you make that awesome buying decision. Don't forget to hit that like button friends so more people can see it, so they can know what's out there and know which monitor is best for them. Consider subscribing if you want more videos just like this one, showcasing display technology always to help you make that awesome buying decision. Now these are two of the newest monitors on the market today, respectively. On the AW2725Q, we have that 4K crispy goodness at 27 inches, though at 240Hz. While on the LG, we have that newest MLA Plus technology at 27 inches, but it's Quad HD, though at 480Hz. We're not taking a look at speed here, we're taking a look at that brightness difference, specifically here in this section in SDR mode. One thing I've been able to notice right off the bat is that the color difference, that color brightness that QD OLED brings to the table is easily seen. It's always going to be easily seen when you side by side them. Do mind that the QD OLED on the left is pushing a tad bit purple tint. It's more noticeable in SDR mode than HDR. One of the cool features with the LG monitor is that in SDR mode, it is uncapped. Not like the QD OLED, which is capped at 250 nits. We can go up to around 345 nits. Even though we see these numbers, QD OLED color brightness is what really stands out. Though in certain situations, because SDR mode has a peak high option available on the LG, we do see instances where certain things on screen really do pop just a tad bit more. It varies from scene to scene, SDR and HDR. It's a cool feature that LG has. You can easily see by the white hair of the character, I believe Akuma. It's brighter on the LG. The candles in the background also is brighter. But on the QD OLED on the left, overall the picture is nicer looking. It does look a tad brighter. And that's because QD OLED has that color brightness advantage that W OLED does not, at least not this iteration. As technology grows, both QD OLED and W OLED will get better. In this scene, things are a lot closer, but in the background you can see in the stadium structure, it is brighter on the LG, also the sky, and also sometimes when the character does that special move, on the LG it is brighter. With this specific game, we are not seeing any kind of ABL kick in. When the characters hit each other, and that high brightness white flash kicks in, both monitors can display it with no problem. Long gone are the monitor, just like the GR version of this LG monitor, though at 240Hz, would exhibit crazy amount of dimming, even the ASUS AQDM to a minimum, but it was still there. Even the DMG version does this also, but that's very rare, I would say about 5-10% to of the time. It's good to see that the LG finally, it's completely erased, just like in the GS version and here with the GX. And the thing is, I've never seen this dimming on any QD OLED monitor, from 32 now to 27, that QD OLED's brightness can handle these high peaks. In this scene, when they're fighting in the street, the background has much more color brightness on the QD OLED versus the LG. So they do trade blows from time to time in SDR mode. Just because the LG has that uncapped, I would say, brightness mode in SDR, it doesn't necessarily destroy the QD OLED because QD OLED inherently already has that brightness color advantage that W OLED does not yet. That's why I'm running some scenes here so you can see those differences. They trade blows. So just because the monitor on the Alienware is capped at 250 nits, like I said in my review, don't let that stop you from getting it if you're worried. 250 nits is totally fine and you can see versus an uncapped monitor in SDR mode, it does go toe to toe though the peaks are not there. The overall image is and that color boost, again which is built into QD OLED technology, is easily seen and if you have these side by side, that's what you're going to be seeing. So let's move on over now to HDR mode as these are expensive monitors and you want to make sure you have that feature working at all times if you love that mode. And again, only with the smallest peaks does the LG win as you'll be able to see here, but overall the image does look better on QD OLED. I actually was kind of surprised. True Black 400 on this Alienware is an amazing mode. It's even better than Peak 1000. And the Visa Display HDR mode on the LG technically is a True Black 400 according to LG. 
It says that in their specifications. You can easily see here. Other than the amazing peaks at 2%, which is very rare, but it's there. The QD OLED on the left always wins. The LG looks overall dimmer, and I have tried this on Gamer 1 and Gamer 2. The QD OLED overall is a much funner picture. There's more contrast. The peaks are better. That's something I really can't understand because the LG does have that peak power, but again, only at that 2% window. So unless you play those really dark games, driving games at night, or highlight games, yes, the W OLED would easily win. But you can see here, the much more funner gamer picture goes to the QD OLED. Now check this out. In HDR mode with Doom Eternal, I freeze framed it a bit so you can check it out. On the left, the QD OLED is brighter. Now this is not a 2% window. This is like I would say a 25% window. QD OLED is winning in HDR mode. In this scene, here with the ID logo, it's also brighter with QD OLED. But here with the Doom Eternal logo and the 2020 ID software information, W OLED wins. That's what I'm showing you so it comes across on screen. It depends on what you're doing with the monitor. And with the LG on the right, that 2 to 5 to 10% may sometimes look brighter than the QD OLED, as you can see here. Now, yes, these are just letters, numbers. Again, I'm just showing you these games, Mortal Kombat, Doom Eternal, it really all depends on what you're playing. So just keep that in mind, your miles may vary. Now check this out, this is pretty cool. Both technically are with Visa Display True Black 400. Look at the left. The QD OLED, hence Alienware, easily destroys the LG. That's something that came very apparent with this specific scene. So I'm saying, wow, if True Black 400 looks this good, imagine Peak 1000. So let's switch it to Peak 1000 and see the difference. And to my amazement, it actually dimmed the picture a bit. Now, Peak 1000 would really be with those 2% highlights. Yes, this is not a 2%. I would say maybe 25-50% pixels being lit up. But I was kind of shocked that True Black 400 looked better. So going back to True Black 400, look how much brightness opens up overall. And I would say that's the preferred scene. If you want that impact, that brightness color impact, HDR True Black 400 is how you should set it and leave it on the Alienware AW2725Q. Now, I do have some lighting around in my room, as you can see. Nothing crazy, but I do have lighting. And I can totally see on the LG why many people would like that. Even though it's running at max brightness, if you turn off all the lights and you just prefer the LG monitor for that 480 Hz, I mean, that's the main advantage. It still is a deep picture. And remember, at 480 Hz, which we're not testing here today. We're just testing brightness, power. You can see that bar up top. On the QD OLED, it's bright. On the LG, it's lower. Though that green bar on the bottom does look nice on the LG. It does look overblown on the left on the QD OLED, but that again, that's just showing you how much brighter it is. In real life, it doesn't look overblown like the camera's picking up. And if it does look overblown in person, all you gotta do is lower the brightness a tad bit. But the capability is there, and that's what we're showing here today. So with all modes, you can see the ones on the right are exactly the same. The Gamer 1 preset which is Visa Display HDR. And on the left, we have the True Black 400, which again is the same as the LG. But on the Alienware, it's a lot brighter. And it's even brighter than the Peak 1000 mode for this specific scene. And this is a good scene to show because there's a lot of black in the picture. It's a lot of contrast. Peak 1000 would look worse in brightness with more pixels lit up. So for this mode, for the True Black 400 to already look better than the Peak 1000 shows, the Alienware is rocking, and it's overpowering everything. It looks really good, and that's why I say, if you get the Alienware, set it to True Black 400, and you will be happy. It does support Dolby Vision, but I'm just showing you here these two peak modes. So friends, there you have it. SDR mode and HDR look amazing on both monitors, but the true winner here, truly, is the Alienware AW2725Q. That QD OLED technology now at 27 inches for that 4K crispy goodness. And that brightness advantage of QD OLED really does shine through. And it goes to show, it is the superior technology if you want that brightness impact. In a semi-lit room, if you need more power, you gotta go to mini LED. But the advantage of the LG, which there is a lot of, is mainly the 480 Hz. I just picked these games out today just to show you what I've been playing and what I test my monitors with. But I'll have more games and applications very soon to help you make that awesome buying decision. Friends, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button so more people can see it to know what's out there and see what's the best monitor for them to get. Consider subscribing if you want more videos just like this one. News, reviews, gameplay videos, and everything in between, especially those versus videos. Thanks for watching, friends. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.